Alongside Eric Kane, I'm Austin Price for the two-minute drill on this Saturday. Tennessee opening up bowl practice as they get ready for Purdue coming up at the Music City Bowl on December 30th. Uh, Josh Heupel did say that you know he's not had anybody else you know approach him about sitting out the bowl game or potentially going pro or you know transferring, but did indicate that there are some guys still trying to make some decisions and try to yep. figure things out, which that tells you. You know, there probably is going to be some movement or in, in some form or fashion, whether it's kids not playing in the bowl game and or uh, kids probably entering the transfer portal. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this was expected. I, I think it's it's been a shock that no one has entered the transfer portal uh, to a point right now, but that kind of indicates that there are, you know, some guys maybe thinking about it, maybe contemplating their options, and then again, some guys that potentially might go to the NFL not playing this bowl game. So a lot of movement we thought would have already happened hasn't happened yet, but it doesn't mean it won't happen. The one thing I did t take note of was the fact that, you know, he ha was able to, I, and I asked him this question, was, uh, you know, getting out on the road, coming back, and then being able to have recruits here to watch you practice. Yeah. You know, for a guy like Tyree West, who's here this weekend, to watch Rodney Garner go through practice. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big deal because you kind of get to get a feel for what Coach Garner's like and whether you would mesh with him and want to be coached by him. And, and Coach Heifel clearly indicated that that's a huge deal for the end of this recruiting cycle. Yeah, and I think that's a that is a good point because you know you come in for these game day visits and these official visits, and it's great because you get to see the access, you get to see the game days, you get to see the locker room. But what about Sunday through Thursday? What about Sunday through Friday? The practices, the drills, you know how you go about stuff. Uh, it just the everyday, and I think that's good to see for a guy looking to you know decide where you want to go, whether it's a transfer or you know a, a, an early signing guy. So um, these bowl practices are big in a number of areas, not only for you know the current guys on the roster, but also the people you get to bring in and to watch it. Your other biggest takeaways today or what? Uh, you know, it's kind of snap and clear mentality. It's you went 100 miles an hour in the regular season. You didn't have a week off. You still did some strength stuff and everything, but focused on school. Your coaches are gone now. It's all back, and you just got to have to get healthy and kind of get back into a football mindset. It's a, it's a, a difficult change of mindset, I feel like, from a player's perspective, but it's uh, one that everybody that's bowl bound is kind of going through right now, and they started that process earlier today. Yeah, I was asked about Alante Taylor and uh, the fact that he wouldn't play Coach Heupel, very complimentary of Alante, just yeah. said it was a great opportunity for some of the same guys we've seen all year, whether it be Kamal Haddon, Brandon Turnage, several of those players. And you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily close the door on having a few of those kids that are going to sign on Wednesday mm -hmm. that are early enrollees go through a few bowl practices. You see that from time to time. It's not every year. I think there's a real opportunity for that this year. A couple of different guys at least exploring that option. He's Eric Kane. I'm Austin Price.